Okay. Look at her. She feeling herself just a little bit. All right, girl. I see you. Okay. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Angel and I'm back with another video. I am currently in my restroom, hence the shower curtain. Um, I'm about to do something to this hair. So I just wanted to come on real quick, you know, before I switch it up on y'all. So I'm about to do a protective style. Um, I will insert a picture if I can find it. I've done this style before, probably about a year ago. So I'm gonna do that style. I usually only wear protective styles because my hair is natural. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get this hair braided down and then I'll All be right, guys, so here are some of the items that you will need to achieve this style. I have some hair grease, some shining jam, some hair oil, some duck clips, a rat tail comb, as well as some rubber bands. I also forgot to show the hair mousse, but I will show that later on in the video. And here is the braid down. I do believe I ended up with about 12 braids total. And I do want to mention that I added tiny pieces of braiding hair to each braid, only because my hair is so soft and the braids will not last without it although this is a style that I would typically wear maybe two to three weeks but adding the braiding hair definitely helps to preserve the style so I went on ahead and did that all right guys I am back I have officially braided down my hair don't mind the parts they really don't matter you won't be able to see them anyway I do have a couple of crisscrosses going on here so that's pretty much it. I'm about to go ahead and get started. This is the hair that I will be using. The Free Tress Deep Twist in 10 inch. I want like a short style. I usually wear this like a flip over. You'll see if I like it. <laughs> but yeah, this is the hair that I'm using. And again, it's going to be crochet. This hair was about $4 per pack. And I think I used about four and a half packs. Here is my crochet needle. So I'm about to go ahead and get started. All right, so I am back. I have this little bit here to go. But I wanted to do that on camera for you guys. I have my mirror here. So I'm going to be looking this way. So I'm going to take a little bit of hair from here. Towards the front, I use smaller pieces, so mm, about that much. I'm going to take my crochet needle. It's already opened. Slide it up under your braid. Hook the hair, close it, and pull it through. Bam. <laughs> so I usually twist it or knot it about three or four times. And then I split it and tie it again and make sure it's tight. All right, I'm going to repeat that again. Here's the hair. I'm going to take an even smaller piece. Slide the needle up under your braid, hook the hair, close it, pull it through, hook it, close it, pull it through. Hook it, close it, pull it through. <laughs> tight, girl, so don't slip out. Make sure it's tight. All right, guys, so I'm going to speed this up just a little bit, and then you'll just see that I am still adding in pieces to the front to close out this space. Um, again, all you need to do is slide the needle up under your braid, hook the hair, close the needle and pull it through make sure that you are knotting this about three or four times so that your hair do not slip out honey okay but this is very simple you will see here that i am changing the angle on how i insert the needle um just so that i can change the direction on where i want the hair to fall so yes be mindful of that but guys this is very simple to do if i can do it you can do it too i believe in you this is very simple very quick hairstyle, something to hold you over until your next style. Like I mentioned earlier, I usually wear this maybe two to three weeks max. By that point, I'm tired of it and I'm missing my braids again. <laughs> but yes, so you'll see here that um, it's starting to come together. This is the back. You'll see um, how full and closed it is. I did mention earlier that I want it to be shorter, so I will start to cut clips here. And guys, um, I really don't recommend to just go in cutting as I did. I had no type of guide, no type of nothing. I was just cutting, just cutting. <laughs> so don't, don't be like me, you know, have an idea on how you want it so that you're not cutting too short or cutting too much. 
Um, but that is why I did cut a little bit at a time. I didn't go in and make a big chop. But yes, this is it. You'll see here that I'm just going to continue to just cut it up. Cut, 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 cut. Look at this. <laughs> just snipping. Okay. Look at her. She's feeling herself just a little bit. All right, girl. I see you. Okay. <laughs> this is the mousse that I mentioned earlier. This is just olive oil hair mousse. I do put this on. I didn't do too much. I didn't really want to weigh the hair down. But I did just put this on sparingly all over just to kind of bring the hair down. I feel like the hair was so big and bushy. All right, guys. Well, this is it. This is the final look. Thank you guys for watching and doing my hair with me. As I mentioned, we use the free chest deep twist in 1B. You know how my attempt was. <laughs> I don't know how I feel yet. It feels this big. This is it, so we'll see. <laughs> I already see where I want to go back in and change some things, but as of right now, this is this is what it's gonna be. All right, guys, so I did want to include this clip. This is from the very next morning. I did go back in and cut even more off to make it a little shorter, and I added more pieces in on that left side that you're seeing there. So yes, this is the final, final look. <laughs> but yep, I loved it a whole lot better the next day. All right, guys, thank you for watching. I do appreciate it. Be sure to like this video. Comment down below and let me know if you tried this style before or if you've used this hair before. Also, if you have not subscribed, be sure to do so. Click the red subscribe button right down below. And again, I do appreciate it. And I will see you guys in another video. Bye. Bye.